Well, hello there, Mr. Del Pazzo here to do another drawing with you guys. Today we're gonna to draw something, kind of funny little drawing. We're gonna draw three little birds all stacked up so that the little guy on the top can smell a nice little flower. I thought this was a pretty cool little drawing. So you're gonna need a piece of paper and a pencil, probably an eraser. And we're gonna turn our paper vertical or up and down because our little birds are much taller than they are wide. Okay. I think I'm probably gonna start with the big guy at the bottom and we'll work our way up. So I need a little bit of room for my grass. Actually, why don't we do our grass right now? That's probably the easiest thing to do. So kind of close to the bottom, we're just gonna draw some grass now, in the picture, they just kind of do a wiggly line like that, a bumpy line. If you don't think that looks very much like grass, um, you could do little more up and down little ziggy zaggies or even make little pieces of grass, whatever you want to do. But we're only going to use the very bottom of the paper for that. Our first bird is going to go right there in the middle. And you can see they're kind of like... You can practice this shape if you want first before we make the birds, but pretty much the birds are big on one end and pointy on the other. So you can kind of practice that shape on a piece of scrap paper if you want to, but that's kind of the shape of our birds. This, the pointy end is the tail and the big round end is where his face and his beak are going to be. So that's kind of, if you can make that shape, the rest of this is going to be easy. So I'm going to put the first bird pretty much right there in the middle. It'll be a little bit closer to that side. So I'm actually going to start right over here because that's my tail. That's where the pointy part of my tail is going to be. I need a little bit of room over here for my feathers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over, up, curl around, and then go right back to the beginning. So the right side is pointy, the left side. So right in the middle of your paper will be that big round part of your shape. It's kind of like a raindrop. If I was to turn his body, it's kind of like just like a raindrop. Pointy at the top and round at the bottom. But we're just, our raindrops are just tipped over sideways. Okay? Now right in the middle, I'm going to make a wing and it's going to be just like the body. It's going to be very, very similar to the body. If you want to get real fancy schmancy, you can even make other little feathers peeking out of that side if you want. Or you can just do one little raindrop shape in the middle, kind of like they did on the picture. And right over on this round part, I'm going to do a beak, which is just a triangle with a line in the middle. And right above that, a little eye. And on this end, I'm going to do more of these shapes for the tail. Pretty much the whole drawing is just a bunch of these raindrop shapes. So in the picture, they have three. You can do as many tail feathers as you want. We're just going to go up, around, and in. Up, around, and in. Up, around, and in. And that's his tail. You can add many more feathers if you want to. And now he's got two little legs, and they're just two little skinny lines there, and then a little bit over more, and two little skinny lines so that he's standing in the grass. So that's our bottom guy, right? You did that one, you could do the other ones because it's the same thing. Now, the only difference is the other bird's going to be pointing that away. So we're going to turn around and go. So I'm going to start this bird right about there. Go up a little bit, leave a little room. And yeah, I would say the dot is kind of like right above where his beak is. So this time I'm going to go around that way. So I'm going to go over, up, around, and then right back to the beginning. And you can see I've got a little space there because I need the room for the little legs. So look, we're going to do a wing in the middle just like we did here. Remember, you can pause or rewind this video as many times as you need to. 
and we're gonna have a beak right over here. That beak's a little bit different. We want the birds to look a little different. Give them an eye. And of course, some tail feathers up around, pointy where they touch the bird, round where they don't touch the bird. You know what else they kind of look like? They sort of look like balloons. A balloon is big and round on one end and pointy on the other. And now we have to make his legs, and his legs are going to be sitting right on top of his head. Two little legs, four lines. One, two, three, four. Bird number two. Our next guy is going to be a little smaller because he is on top, right? You can't put the big guy on top. Then everything will all get squished down. So this time I'm going to start this one right about here. Kind of like over top of his eye. This bird's body is a little bit different. A little bit. Because he's just kind of like a little bit smaller guy. He's a little smaller. But he's sort of the same shape. So I'm going to go, now he's pointing this way. So now I'm going to go up, around. Did I make him big enough? Nope. I think I made him too small. Up, around, I'm going to go down here, and right up. So it is sort of still like a raindrop, but it's squished a little bit smaller, but it's also a little bit wider this way. So it sort of looks like the other two birds, but definitely smaller. Definitely smaller. Now he's going to have a wing right in the middle here too. Kind of the same shape, really. And he has a beak. I'm going to put his beak a little bit higher, like he's looking up. And then give him an eye. And we're going to do some tail feathers, right? We've already done six of them, so we know how to do those. Start at the tail, up, around, and in. Up, around, and in. Down, around, and in. As long as they're connected to his tail, you can do as many of them as you want. Up to you, man. Now, right now he's floating in the air, so I need to do my legs. One, two, one, two. And the only thing we're missing is our nice big tall flower, because he looks like he's smelling something, but there's nothing there. So we've got to help him out with that. So what I'm going to do, instead of starting at the bottom and going up, I'm actually going to start right at the top, because I have to make sure that flower is right by his nose. He doesn't have a nose. His beak. So, right here, next to his beak, I'm going to do a nice big half of a circle. Or half of an oval. Right next to his beak. So wherever your beak is for your top bird, that's where your flower is going to go. And then I am going to connect that with a curved line. I don't want to go straight down. I want to curve it. So it looks a little bit more like the middle of a flower. Now, my petals on my flower are going to kind of sort of be like the tail feathers, sort of. They're going to be a little bit longer, so I'm going to go up, around, and in. Now you'll notice my, my flower doesn't come to a point like that. See that flower right there? See how it doesn't come to a point? And then I'm going to do another one right here that touches my first flower. So they're a little bit different than the tail feathers. Look a little more like a flower petal than a tail feather. And then I will do maybe two more. One, two. Now you'll notice there's no petals on the rounded part by the bird's beak. That's called, um, I have them in my garden, they're called a cone flower, where the petals are kind of like on one side and in the middle of the flower sticks out the other side. Now, anywhere inside our flower, it can be right here between these petals or between these two petals, we're going to make the stem. And our stem's going to go all the way down to the grass. has to be growing out of the ground. So I think I'm going to maybe go right here. You can kind of put your stem wherever you think it looks the best. So I'm going to go over. I have to go around his tail right here. I don't want to go through his tail. So I'm going to go over and around and right down to the grass. 
And I need another line, right? My stem can't just be one line if I'm gonna color it in. So I'm gonna do another one right next to it. And I'm gonna curve just like the first line. So whatever curves you made for the first line, you gotta make those curves for the second line too. Now I'm gonna put a few um, leaves sticking out off there. And they're just kind of like a football shape. They're pointy, they're not like the raindrop. They're pointy on both ends. All right, so I'm just gonna start here and go, you can put a line in the middle of it if you want. Out, back, kind of like little footballs. Footballs are pointy on both ends. You could put as many leaves as you want. Now, you can color this picture however you want. So the first week, of course, first week we always do our drawing part in pencil. And then the next art class, you put it away, and then you take it back out the next week, and you color them in. Now, you can do whatever colors you want. You can do green grass. You can do a green stem. This is yellow, and the little middle of the flower is orange. It does not have to be that color. Bottom bird is red. I would say probably the legs and the beak should probably either be yellow or orange, maybe. Yellow Bird legs are usually yellow, but not all the time. But you can see they did the same color for the beak and the, and the legs. Now you wouldn't want to do his legs, let's just say you did his legs red right there. That would look like this bird has two little antlers sticking up. So you definitely don't want to do the legs the same color as the bird, because we want to make sure the legs look like legs. So you can see you have three different color birds, that would be nice, make them nice and colorful. You can do a background if you want, they just kind of did a, um, looks like a light blue. You can do his crayon. You can use markers, you can use colored pencils, you could even use watercolors. You can really color this in however you want. But the one thing you want to make sure you do is send it to me in seesaw. Because I want to see your little bird family smelling a flower. Oh, very cool. Excelente. Okay, guys. I will see you later. Bye.